it would the first the first thing to point out I think is that it would have been quite a bit colder. We forget these fairly obvious things, but you're at the, the, the back end of the Little Ice Age, the era of frost fairs on the Thames, and they had little bonfires going and stalls on the on the Thames upstream of London Bridge, um, which is the sort of place that I'm, I'm sure Stubbs would have uh, visited. Uh, the place would have been smelly uh, in London as much as here, with dung all over the uh, the roads here and uh, and in London from cattle and from horses. Uh, we'd have the night soil men clearing the uh, the privies out and taking them to the field. You'd have the abattoirs operating. In this case, we have one that would have been operating next door to us. Um, so you'd have. Uh, the squeals of the animals, the noise of the donkeys, the ticking of the of the clocks in the uh, the distance, the roll of the traffic up and down the high street, and uh, uh, especially in in London, where you had hundreds of thousands of of horses and manure to noise and and uh, uh, and pong to get rid of. But there was a menagerie at. Castle Ashby, which is the Marquis of Northampton's uh, estate, a few miles northwest of us, and another close to Horton. So just within a few miles, there were quite a number of rather strange animals uh, um, uh, wandering around and passing circuses that would have had rather toothless lions and such like uh, all over the place. Uh, uh, as with much of the uh, the Georgian era, the, the higher echelons of society all seem to be connected in, in one way, shape or form, uh, with uh, Stubbs' most famous painting, Whistle Jacket, which was a commission of the, uh, the Earl of Rockingham. Uh, Rockingham went to Westminster School, which was the, uh, the place to go to school in, uh, uh, in the Georgian period, and he was there at the same time as William Cooper.